In the year of 1982, a young game designer called Yuji Hori won a contest promoted by Enix to visit San Francisco for the Apple Fest in 83. There, he got to know two RPG series popular on computers back then, Wizardry and Ultima. Mr. Hori became interested with the genre and worked to bring it to the Japanese public. The result of this effort was that in the year of 1986, Dragon Quest was released in Japan for the Nintendo Famicom, the Japanese NES. It was the birth of the console and Japanese RPGs. Its American release was following in 1989 as Dragon Warrior. While the series would only earn a significant following overseas during the first decade of the 21st century, it became a huge hit in Japan, turning into the one of the most iconic video game franchises in that country, being revalued only by Mario. As iconic as the series was its mascot, the slime. Illustrated by Akira Toriyama, the creator of the classic series Dragon Ball, those blue drops with their happy smile and the various variations in their design are well known and spawned countless merchandise and eventually its own spin-off games. The first of those games, called Slime Morimori Dragon Quest, was released to the Game Boy Advance in 2003 and remains unreleased outside of Japan. However, a sequel was released in overseas in 2006 for the Nintendo DS. Ladies and gentlemen, Slimes and Slimatics, I'm Blackbird and I'd like to invite you to join me in this journey. Let's play Dragon Quest Heroes Rocket Slime. <laughs> 